heartache and disbelief our emotions. Amanda's family is trying to sort through at this moment. For 28 years, her parents say they raised their child to love and help others. RTV6's Liz Adiola with the message her father has for the man accused of taking all of that away. Liz. This time, the holiday season, Christmas time, was Amanda's favorite time of the year, according to her friends. Now, family members are coming to grips with the fact that they won't be able to share this time with Amanda, the woman who spent time decorating a Christmas tree that stood behind those doors just two weeks ago. A father's prayer. We had a lot of dreams and a lot of th looking into the future, you know, what can things be and how, you know, awesome life is going to be into the future. A future that seemed to burn so bright for Phil Byers' youngest daughter, Amanda, a pastor's wife and a young mother who many believed was on the verge of greatness. Um, you just don't, um, you don't think that you're your kids are going to go before you. Let alone at the hands of strangers. But that's what Marion County prosecutors allege, that two men, Larry Taylor Jr. and Jalen Watson, were the last faces Amanda saw before she was beaten and shot to death in her northwest Indianapolis home. The motive, according to detectives, a thirst for money. I have had a hard time with feelings of anger, to tell you the truth. Byers opened up for the first time after his daughter's murder. There's no good thing down the road of anger. It's, it causes bitterness and, and sometimes rage, and um, I don't want to live there. In a place of hate versus love. I think that's what I would tell him. But that is not the only message he has for the men accused of killing Amanda. Shame on you. You've taken something very dear to us without cause. Police say it was a crime of opportunity. Now at every opportunity, Amanda's family shares what keeps them going. What God wants from people is to repent of their sin and give their heart to Jesus. That's what I'm supposed to be telling everybody that lives in this world. I'm supposed to share the good news of Jesus Christ. Like so many nights in the last few weeks, the Blackburn home is lit with two decorative candles in the window. It is a home that has been forever changed by unspeakable violence. Reporting live from the northwest side of Indianapolis, Liz Adiola, RTV6.